Papa Murphy, welcome back. Pictures of Steve. I was just about to ask. This way I avoid the disruption of pulling out my phone. <laughs> Look at that smile. Just like his mom. He was pooping in that one. Here he is, about to poop. Ooh. A theme develops. <laughs> oh, he's got your eyes, Sean. I need to find Dr. Lim. You may keep those, I made enough for everyone. Marcus sends greetings from Spain. Oh, I thought he was at a meditation retreat in Vietnam. He was, and now he's walking the Camino de Santiago. Oh, how nice for him. I'm two surgeons down with no one to approve hiring a new one. I need the board to appoint an interim president's staff. Just as long as it's not O'Brien. They wouldn't. I heard from a staffer who covers board meetings that his name's on the short list. Oh, the worst possible candidates for the position. Good morning. Pictures of Steve. Oh. You no longer have your cane. Yeah, PT said I was ready. I'm glad to have you back. I would like to join your case. He's adorable, Dr. Murphy. Welcome back. Sean, I'm thrilled to see you, but I'm not sure this is the case where you want to start as a new dad. It is an exciting and challenging surgery. Thank you for coming in on such short notice. Hello, I am Dr. Sean Murphy, attending surgeon and father of a baby boy. He is two weeks old and today is my first day back, but that will not affect my performance as your son's doctor. Is it true there might be a heart for Jack? Yes, but the heart isn't available yet and we may not get it once it is. We've been through this before. Why isn't the heart available yet? Well, the donor family is still saying their goodbyes before they turn off life support. Jack is an excellent match for the donor heart, and his latest echo indicates that his cardiomyopathy and overall cardiac function has worsened, so he should be at the top of the list.